yeah storage uh, provisioning uh, is nothing but it is how do i provide these storage uh, resources to the host okay i have to provide it uh, and i have to make sure that it is been available for each and every one so that no application is shorting fall of the storage or the resources so this is the work of the intelligent storage system to make provide that the resources are always available to the applications or i can say to the host else what happens they are going to uh, their performance is going to degrade so that how we can avoid that one so there are two ways they have been applying the first one is a traditional way and the second one is the virtual so you can see here the traditional and the virtual in traditional as uh, the term itself is saying it is tradition that means it is a form of a old one what they are going to do is they are going to divide these physical disk that means the hard disk what you have been having they have been grouped and then they will be uh, applied in terms of the sets to, to which one i have to group okay so based on this one they apply the raid levels already we have seen the raid levels either it is 0 it is 1 Ten or zero one level three. Then we have four. Then we have five. Then we have six. Like this, they are going to group them together and apply the particular array technology. And whenever they are being applying, or whenever they are dividing in terms of the logical units, right? Uh, then they are going to assign them one particular number that is called as logical unit number. okay so when they apply these numbers then they call it as a thick logical unit number okay so that one we will see in the next diagram now you can check here the diagram where we are been having the host we are been having the host to and these are all been connected to the intelligent servers uh, storage systems you can see here we have a front end we have the cache we have the back end we have the physical disk now you can check in this one is that these physical disk are been grouped into one particular logical unit number so that is been given as zero and these all together are been grouped as logical unit one the same way you can group them based on your need now when this is been there this is a logical unit where it is showing that chalo these will be divided and it will be provided as one particular disk now this uh, what is that uh, logical unit 0 is been completely dedicated to the particular host one so what he feels that is that uh, this one particular disk is completely available for me and this logical unit one is completely available for the host two so simple is whenever the operations are been done it feels that these all the four disk which are been grouped into one particular logical unit the, the host assumes that this complete disk is dedicated for me okay now how that is going to do is they are having the controllers and they are using the bus okay so through which they are been active for them all the time it will be available so using these uh, front end controllers and front end ports whatever they have been having it using the cache and using the back end controllers and the ports the data is been returned to this physical disk assuming that they are the part of this logical unit now what happens is here by using this one the performance is going to increase okay so it is going to feel that these logical units are available for us and all the time and it is going and this one is usually helping the people and uh, what i can say that it is easy for the people to group them okay and whenever i am applying the particular mirror concepts and all into this one that means i am applying the raid concept then it is easy for me to get the lost data but as you people know that uh, in terms of the raid technology also there are some drawbacks whenever there is a more than one disk failure then the data loss is been there right so for that purpose what happened is instead of going with this a uh, traditional logical unit they have gone with the virtual storage provisioning 
right in this virtual storage provisioning what it is going to do is it is going to create and present this logical unit with more capacity than the, than is physically allocated to it on the storage array now you can check in this diagram we are been having these host one particular host a second particular host and the third particular host here we have a hypervisor where it is going to make available the particular host as though it is available now you can see here the vmware the applications have been running on this one yeah and uh, you can see here whenever these disks are being divided right they are called as thin lun that is thin logical unit number now when this allocation is being done it is proved to be efficient for all the storage systems because it is been given like dedicated to all the uh, what you say the users now you can check here they are having a lot of the storage uh, uh, sorry they are having the lot of disk drives which is acting as a pool okay shared it is being shared and for this one it is assuming that it is in having more uh, data sorry it is having the more storage space now though it is just a 3 uh, terabyte allocated but what it is assuming is it is uh, having 10 terabyte of the allocation so this virtual provisioning is helping the users uh, for a better storage and uh, what is that even in terms of the capacity also it is increasing and it is proving very good because in the virtual if you check in the virtual if you check you are having the storage devices you can't share this one so again there will be a problem you have to create a logical unit for each and everything and you have to apply the raid system so that is not the headache in the uh, what you say the virtual storage going on the next one when we are having all this one we are check that what are the types of the uh, what you say the storage systems when i'm been talking about the types of the storage systems we have the two types one is the high end storage system and the second one is the uh, mid range uh, storage systems okay so we are having the two types of the storage uh, intelligent storage systems one is the high end storage system and the second one is mid range storage system already we have seen the intelligent storage system we have seen what are its component and in that one we are going to see that what are the two types the first one is high end storage system so it is also referred as uh, active active arrays so usually they name it as active active array and it is designed with a large number of the controllers and the cache memory it's having lots of cache memories and the controllers and what are its advantages or what are its capabilities it's having the larger storage capacity it is or going to come the fault tolerance having the high scalability right and it is also going to perform the uh, what is that multiple front end port support and interface protocols able to handle the uh, lots of uh, io operations now you can check here why it is called as active and active arrays now you can check here uh this is the particular host we have been having these uh, bus that is connected to the storage array and you can see here there is a controller a and this is up to controller n you can be having any controllers n number of controllers you can check here we are having these all the devices which is been grouped into the logical unit it is been provided now any time this host is requesting for the data each and every bus will be active okay it is not a passive one so that means n number of the controllers it is been connected using the bus all the time it is available it can read the multiple data and it can write the multiple data it is not going to say that uh, uh, the read operation is going on the performance is going to break down the write operation is been conducted so it has to wait until the write completes and then it has to go for the read operation no it is been provided with the multiple bus the multiple controllers will be dedicated and both the read and the write operations will be performed for this purpose this high end storage is used in the large scale 
right for the large enterprises this sort of the intelligent storage system is being used for example if i have to say that the train booking system in the train booking system if you see the multiple peoples are providing uh, what you say the uh, operations it is providing the operations to multiple people at the same stretch uh, if you open uh, what is that the tatkal uh, ticket booking multiple people will be booking the tickets it will make sure it is been it is providing the slot to everyone and based on the priority it is going to uh, allocate the ticket so the fast operation is done it has been taking up the data that means all the uh, controllers are active at that time it uh, process it is going to take the data it's going to process that data and it is going to give back the data so this way the intelligent storage that is high end storage systems are going to work then moving on to the next one is a mid range storage system this when i say the mid range storage system he tells it is active passive arrays active passive array in the sense one particular control will be active and the another one is going to be uh, inactive so when i say it is inactive then it is assumed to be as passive okay so one control uh, i mean to say one bus will be active per host it cannot perform all the operation that means all the bus will not be dedicated when i say here is a bus that is the link so it will not be available so whenever i have to use uh, uh, what is that uh, the operations i have to perform here then it is going to use the rate controllers and the disk interfaces and this uh, kind of the storage system it is usual or it is best suited for the small and medium sized enterprise application so whenever you are if you take it like you are booking any online uh, what is that uh, order you are placing an order so it is going to take one by one it is not going to go for the multiple operations at a stretch it takes one uh, one uh, operation at a time and then it is being open for you people right so uh, this was all about the types of the intelligent storage system thank you